Time to get more materials. You guys might also like to know that this truck does not rub. This thing can lock side to side and on these 33 by 1450s, 22 by 12s, no rub, which that was what I was hoping for, but you know, you just never know sometimes. We're gonna get this over to Menards, pick up some concrete, get back, and show you the progress on that chicken coop. Got the truck back, got the trailer set over here. It wasn't a lot, it was probably like 1,200, give or take 12, 12 to 1,400 pounds of concrete. Just a little load, but the wife picked up a new truck. Yeah. So that one's going off to, I believe his name is Aaron Collins, the winner of that truck. And now we've got this one here, these stupid trees, they just drop like crap all over the trucks. But even if we park them like out front, it just blows around this whole yard and covers them up with crap. But you know, whatever, it just means more washing. But yeah, so she bought this Duramax. It's a 2005 LLY Duramax. Starts right up, runs great, drives great. Only thing it really needs is I think new shocks in the rear because he said that uh, the rear shocks blew out. So other than that, I mean, it, it runs and drives, sounds really good. Her giveaway for that truck should be starting fairly soon, but if you want to enter to win this truck, this giveaway is live right now, and every $5 is 10 entries to win, but that deal is over on June 12th, so don't waste any time. Win this truck plus $5,000 cash. So let me show you inside the chicken coop here, what we got going on. So I showed you guys we had the rubber mats installed, or not really installed, just cut and put in there, but, Here's the boxes. I might have showed you guys that. Actually, I probably showed you guys already. But yeah, everything's in here. So the coop is ready, as you can see, from all the crap they use it. <laughs> I mean, they are using up on top of this, on this ledge, in the boxes. I mean, clearly they're using it because they're crapping all over everything. But I mean, that's what it's there for. And uh, all I'm going to say is. But I'm not the one that has to clean this thing out. Here's the concrete that they've done so far. They ran out last night, so they're going to have to put in a little bit more to level out this front pad here um, to even out with the 2x4s laid down. But again, this is not to look fancy, to be a nice, glassy, smooth surface. This is basically to keep this coop A, from turning into a mud pit, and B, from just flooding out when it rains, because that's what it's been doing, is just holding water down in here just about. So. This is going to keep it from doing it. And all the wood's treated all the way around. The only wood that might not be treated is the boards that are laid down in the concrete. Um, but what we're going to do is do one more slab here. They're going to finish leveling out this one the best that they can. And then we're just going to take some big rubber mats that we already bought for the horses at my parents. And we're going to throw them down in here so we have a nice, flat, smooth surface that's easy to clean off. Got a lot of errands to run today. It's going to be busy. We're gonna do something that I have never tried before and we are going to see in valet mode just how this car performs. Punched in my code, reduced engine power, street transmission, paddle shifters off, street traction off, street suspension, okay. So, Valley mode, I So basically, essentially, the car's supposed to be in basically like 300 horsepower. So we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes and see if it's a fully drivable car still, just more powered like the V6s, or if uh, or if it's really struggling. So we're gonna put her in drive here. Man, this thing drives like a slug. <laughs> yeah, oh man. The throttle already, I didn't hardly go anywhere. You can just tell the throttle is like super, super reduced. I mean, it's super reduced. So we're actually going to drop this thing off to get tint put in. This is like almost pedal down right now. <laughs> This is funny. Essentially, compared to like your everyday like Corollas and Accords and Civics and whatever, it's still 
a decent amount of power. I mean, it's still, it's still a fun little, you know, fun little amount of power, like if you're trying to compare it to something like that. But wow, it really does reduce the engine power a lot. So like, let's say the wife's gonna take the car for the day, dad, take note. You can actually do that and they don't even need to know that it's in valet mode when they're looking at the screen. They're not gonna know it's in valet mode unless they go to the control settings and they actually punch in the code to deactivate valet mode. But other than that, it's still drivable. You can still get up to 80 miles an hour or plus, you know, but it's just, you can't do those hard accelerations that can peel the tires out and throw you in a circle and, you know, wrap you around a telephone pole and stuff, you know? So that's the main objective, I'm guessing, with this mode. Let's do a little pull. I'm gonna pin it to the ground. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, I just let off. That's hilarious. That is so funny. Well, well we know what valet mode does. Um, takes all the fun out of driving the car. So we're going to take it out of valet mode so we can get it over to this guy's place to get the tint work done. We're going to be doing a nice dark tint on the car. And then we're going to be picking it up. Hellcat is back. We've got the tint in it, and it looks it looks really good. We've got the wifey following us in her giveaway truck that she's giving away actually tomorrow. But yeah, it's uh, it looks really good. I'll go over it a little bit more once we get over to my parents' house. It looks pretty darn good. Here we are. The back was actually already tinted. It's got a 15%. This is a 15%. Now the side windows have 15. Other side window is 15. And the windshield has 30 on the front. And at first I was thinking about going 5% all around. And he's like, dude, 5% is freaking dark in a coupe like this. I was like, okay, so what do you recommend? He said 15 on the sides, in the back, and 30 on the front. He's like, trust me, it'll be black looking at the vehicle, but it'll still give you some visibility at night to where you're not completely blind. I'm like, okay, so that's what we did. And it actually uh, looks pretty, it's pretty darn good. You really can't even hardly see the wheel. I think you can just hardly see the wheel in there, but that's about it. It looks really good though. And then you got dad's poor King Ranch over here. It never gets driven anymore. It's a bummer. I'll tell you messing, he's just having too much fun with his new car. Let me get the old girl fired up. I also got a haircut today. I don't know if you guys noticed, I was starting to look like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. I mean, it was bad. So we're actually on our way over to my parents' property. My dad and I are gonna be doing some work over there. He's wanting to get some new hay planted in an area that it hasn't been planted in yet. Maybe throw in some soybean, a couple other little things. So I figured, he said, hey, I need to till and plant. I said, how about I come help you plant? So I'm gonna run on the tiller and get stuff tilled while he's filling up the cedar and getting it hooked up so that I can get a few laps in and then he's gonna pretty much just come behind me and then seed into everything that I till up so hopefully it works hopefully it goes smooth we're hoping to do about I want to say it's a two or three probably I think it's about a two acre area in two to three hours so we'll see how that goes you know we don't have like big time farm equipment we're just using a tractor with a tiller on it and just like an overseeder so we're gonna see hopefully we can get it done smoothly and we don't have any problems look at this cool truck look at that Ah, focus, come on, you can't hardly see it now. Cool old truck though, looks like an old GMC. Unless he's wanting me to go over this again, which I guess might be what he has in mind. I don't know, we'll find out. Here he comes. Got the nasty all hooked up. The nasty. <laughs> he actually said he was considering selling this truck, so I don't know. He's backing that up. I'm gonna get this started so that uh, as soon as he gets that tractor unloaded, he's ready to hook this up and get going.
just about done and the day is ending i gotta admit this car does look good in this lighting if you want to have a chance to win it link is in the description below it says where we give away fast cars tractor just ran out of fertilizer we only had a uh, three i want to say there were 50 60 pound sacks but it got about this whole area from here on over all covered all seeded he probably just ran out of seed for the tractor too he thought we were going to be just a little bit short than we were for seed and for fertilizer and man it dropped about 20 degrees in the last hour i'm telling you it was like blazing hot like to me blazing hot is like 90 uh, you know whatever and then it dropped down to like it's like 75 right now or 72 75 it's like it's perfect perfect i'm not sure what we're gonna do because i don't think he has any more uh fertilizer so we'll see what was he doing <laughs> something you don't see a lot of in the videos is my dad is hilarious <laughs> but he's on the tractor or working or just doing random stuff you'll just randomly see him like doing his own made-up dances and crap it's so freaking funny just a beautiful beautiful day out here it's got to be 70 sunny it's just so nice so much going on and i want to talk about a couple of things i feel like you guys should really take into consideration when you go on with your day-to-day -day life growing up my dad and like a lot of his buddies and just you know me and my friends we always use this analogy when it came to shooting you know for shooting purposes and this might seem very random and might not make a lot of sense to a lot of people but we were always told the term aim small miss small and of course when it comes to shooting that's just kind of an analogy that you use and you're saying basically like stay focused on the target like stay focused and it's highly unlikely you'll hit far off but it's much more likely that you'll actually hit it if you stay focused and you're probably wondering what does that have to do with anything well it really doesn't have anything to do with anything in particular it just crossed my mind I just thought I would share it with you guys and just see if it means anything to you like what are some things in your life that are super important that you haven't quite focused on the way you should have or the way you could just take that into thought think about it and just think about wow there's these areas that I really want to get good at I really would like to you know pursue but I haven't truly just focused on it and given it my 100%, my 110%, you know, whatever your best is, and just really pursued it. That's why I haven't gotten to this milestone. That's why I haven't achieved this goal yet. That's why I haven't made it to this job yet. Or, you know, whatever it is that you've talked about wanting or you've thought about wanting, but you've never truly pursued it and took aim and just went for it. Whatever it means to you, take it for what it is, but just something that, you know, crossed my mind. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to put this in the video and just share it with some people because maybe there's a lot of people out there that there's just some things out there that they haven't quite fully focused on that they could be missing out on having or achieving. If you enjoy the vlog style where it's just like I throw everything that I have going on into a video, please let me know, leave a like, comment down below and let me know if you enjoy that type of stuff. If you wanna to enter to win this truck, head on over to lmpgear.com because only until June 12th, which is I think in like three days by the time you see the video here, 10X entries are gone for winning this truck, just so you know. The giveaway itself ends on July 15th, and it might seem like it's a little bit more than a month, because it is. There's good reason for that. And if you remember why we bought this car, you'll know why that reason is that the giveaway is a little bit longer than normal, because I'm gonna be a dad soon, and my wife is gonna be a mother. Hopefully you guys all know what that means, so it's just a lot going on, big stuff, and just really trying to truly manage everything to the best of our ability and get everything taken care of that we want to get taken care of and just prepare ourselves for a new stage of life i'm excited for it i'm a little bit nervous about it but it's all in the plans and it's all going to be great oh yeah and if you want to enter to win a hellcat head on over to pdapparelco.com because those 10x entries to win the hellcat also end on june 12th so if you haven't done so yet Hit the links in the description below. You can actually enter to win both and you could legitimately get drawn for both. As unlikely as that might seem to you, it could happen. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.